Hello everyone, welcome back to Gaming Flow and in this video we're going to talk about how to fix NBA 2K23 is having crashing issue, it is not launching or won't launch, freezing and stuttering, low FPS drop, stuck or loading screen and even black screen issues which is happening for many of the users right now and how we can fix this app. So let's dive into the workaround. The first one is all about whenever you are having this trouble, all you have to do is a simple restart. So just go over here in the start, click on the start icon over here, go to this particular icon, go for a restart. So you have to try with a simple restart and that's what you have to do. So once you're done with the simple restart, we can move to the next step. Next step is nothing but we have to verify integrity of game file. So verify integrity of game file. It's an important step. It will cross check every single files of a game. So if any files are corrupted and if any files are missing and all these kind of issues will be fixed by this particular one. So verify integrity of game file is an actually a very important step and it should not be neglected in this. Go over here in the game, right click over here and go to the properties. Now from here go to install it file and just click on the verify integrity of game file. So this will cross check every single files of a game. There are 136.1 GB on the local disk over here. So it will cross check every single of game. So keep in mind, it will take a little bit of time, but that is fine. So once every files are cross checked, it will let you know if any files are having an issue. Once after that, you can try launch the game. So this is an important step. You can try with this as well. Next one is, instead of launching the game from Steam, some people launched the game from installation folder, which did work it for them. So I can show you the same. So we need to go over here in the game. Right click over here and go to the properties. Now go to the install it files and now from here we have to go to the browse. So when you go to the browse, you can see this at the behind. This PC, local C, program file x86, Steam, Steam apps, common, NBA 2K23. Right now, if you scroll down, you can see this. This is the application over here. So this is the application. So this is the folder from, I mean, this is the application from where in the installation folder, you have to launch the game. Instead of launching it from the Steam, you're just launching the game from here. So for me, in my knowledge, it worked for many of the users, not only for this particular game, but for the games like Remnant 2, uh, Ratchet and Clank Effort, even for Spider-Man Morales, Call of Duty Modern Warfare 2, even for the War Zone, it's all working for them, so you can try this out as well. Once after done with this one, we have to, I'll be showing you a few more steps because hence we're in the installation folder which I can show you. One among them is all about, we have to run the game as an administrator. For running the game as an administrator, we have to go over here in the game, right click over here and go to the pro show more options and go to the properties, go to compatibility. Now from here, we have to click on run this program as an administrator and go for apply and go for okay. We have to run the game as an administrator and once you run the game as an administrator, you have to see whether the issue is solved or not. Still, you are having an issue with this. You have to launch the game in the compatibility mode and this did work out for you for users. But uh, let's see, you can try this out because let's take all the possibility to fix this up. So just go over here, right click once again, show more options and go to the properties, go to compatibility. Now from here, we have to go over here and this program in compatibility mode, set this to Windows 7 or go for apply and go for OK. We can set this to Windows 8, go for apply and go for OK. So you can either set it to Windows 7 or Windows 8. Once you set this to Windows 7 or Windows 8, you have to close this, close this as well. And we have to close this as well and try to launch the game and see whether the issue is solved or not. Trying with all these things, if the issue is still persisting, you can try with the next one. That is all about we need to make sure the date time zone is set correct. So just go over here in the search, go for settings. Now from here, go to time and language, go for language and region. So uh, first make sure the country is correct. So if you're from United States, select United States. If you're from United Kingdom, select United Kingdom. Select the region according to geography. Now go back. This is very important. You have to select date and time. So make sure this is turned on. This, this has to be turned on. That is time zone should be turned on. Set time zone automatically should be turned on. This should be turned on, on as well or else we'll be having the trouble. So you have to turn this on as well as you have to turn this on. Once after that, you just need to close this, go back and see whether the issue is solved. After trying with this, if the issue is still persisting, you can try launch the game, but you have to press Alt and Tab from the keyboard. So just click on the play button and you have to press Alt and Tab from the keyboard. I don't know how these are related, but this did work out for many users, many users in the Reddit as well as even in the community forum. They mentioned this, it helped with them so we can, let's see. 
let's try this out as well just click on the play button but the same exact moment when you're clicking on the play button you have to press alt and tap together from the keyboard and it worked for many users like a miracle so you can try this out so once after you're done with this one the next one is all about we need to unplug all the usb devices so you might be filled up with a lot of things on the usb ports for example joysticks controllers logitech wheels or even any other peripherals might be connected so these things are is one of the main reason why we are having the crashing issue so uh, you have to remove everything from here and you have to launch the game once after game is successfully launched for example you wanted to play the game with the controller you can connect it back once it's successfully launched not the first so just remove everything from the usb ports launch the game successfully and once after that just connect it back and try launching the game next one is all about we need to perform a clean boot so just go over here in the search and we have to go for system configuration over here now we have to go to services go for disable all go for enable all my microsoft services go for apply and go for okay so that's going to ask you for restart so those who are watching this you have to go for restart because we are in the middle of shooting so i'm going to go for exit without a restart because i want to demonstrate you the next step those who are watching this go for restart and once you're done with the restart try launching the game next one is all about we need to disable the steam overlay which is a very important step just go over here in the game right click over here and go to the properties now from here make sure this is turn it off if it is turn it on you have to turn this off once you turn this off try launch the game this worked for many of the users so you can try this out because i found this from the steam community and even for many other games uh, the little bit older games like you know dead space for these kind of game many users stated this worked for them so you can try this out apparently given the command options did work it for many users in my knowledge especially for the games including even the latest games like remnant 2 and even for uh, few users suggested uh, this one worked for uh, this one uh, the star siege dead zone it worked for these games for many users so you can try this out so in the launch option you have to give the command that is dx11 so give the command dx11 and try launch the game if dx11 is not working change this to dx12 and try launch the game so either dx11 or dx12 any one of the thing will be kind will be working fine because dx11 is very important as well as dx12 you can try with both alternatively one will be helping guys out so even after trying with this if it's still not working do not panic just uh, move to the next step you can remove the command if it's not working remove the command and keep it nil and once afterward just move to the next step next step is nothing but what we need to do is we just need to close the overlay application which is one of the main reason many users are end up in having these kind of issue so to do this we just need to go over here in the search good i mean we have to go to the start right click over here and we have to go to task manager over here right now if you see there are many things running in the background approximately there are 44 apps running in the background so all these things all these kind of apps are utilizing the performance of my computer which is causing the crashing issue because along with this if i'm trying to launch the game nba 2k23 which which is a game with a around 113 gb definitely it will make me to have the crashing issue so what we need to do is we just need to remove the unwanted things from here for example if you check over here you can see if you find the discord which is one of the main reason for crashing issue along with overclocking application such as uh reward tuner msi afterburner etc we have to remove it as well so once you remove everything from here you have to close this and we have to go back and try launch the game next one is all about we need to try with the next one that is all about we need to run the game on dedicated graphics card so just go over here in the search we have to go for graphics settings over here so select this one and now as you can see there are a lot of apps already added so we have to add the game as well so uh, if the game is already added you're fine with it but if it's not adding for the first time let me show you how to add it just click on the browse now go to this pc go to local dc go to program for x86 go to steam folder go to steam apps go to common from here we have to find nba 2k23 select this one and go for add so game is already added so just go for game already added select the game now from here you have to go to the option so this will be like let windows decide by default so you have to change this one to high performance change this to high performance because when you are launching the game nvidia geforce rtx 2080 with max q design is being utilized in the background so just do like this you have to set this to high performance now go for save once you're done with this one just close this and go back and try launching the game next one is nothing but after this still the issue is persisting you can try a few more steps such as one among them is all about we need to ins we need to increase the virtual memory for this reason we have to go over here in the search 
go for view advanced system settings we have to go to the advanced go for setting once again go to the advanced once again go for change and over here you see as you can see the virtual memory they automatically manage paging file size for all the drivers if this is selected you have to uncheck this make sure you select the local disk where the game is you have to select where the game is installed so in my case it is c so i have to select c go for the custom size here we have to give the value for initial size and maximum size initial size is 1.5 times the total ram and the maximum size is 3 times the total ram so here we need a calculator so just go for the calculator so 32 gb is the ram so you have to multiply it with 1024 and you multiplied it with 1024 and you have to go for 1.5 so we have to give this 49152 you just need to paste this and go to the maximum size so maximum size is 32 gb into 1024 is what it is and you have to multiply it with 3 that brings you the maximum size that is 98304 so just paste it as well so once you're done with this one just set everything okay and you have to try launch the game once again this is what you have to do next one is all about we need to update the windows so for many users when they update the windows it work it for them so just go over here in the search Go for settings over here, go to the windows update and make sure the windows is up to date. So if you're having any kind of updates and all those things, you have to update the windows. And once you're done with this one, you have to make sure the windows is up to date. And once after that, you have to try launch the game as well. Next one is after trying with all these things, if there's still the issues persisting, then we just need to go over here to update the graphics card. So this is nvidia for the users who are on the nvidia for the amd users we are have it over here as well so just go to link select every details like your product you have to select every product series you have to select you have to select the product over here and select the operating system so if i'm on windows 11 i have to select windows 11 and go for start search so when you go for the start search you'll be getting a lot of released uh, versions over here so the 536.67 released on July 18, 2023 is the latest version. So you have to download this one, install, restart is a mandatory. And if you go to the AMD over here, you can see this. You have to go to the graphics card over here. You have to select every details over here according to your configuration. If you're on Windows 11, download this one. If you're on Windows 10, download this one. And you can also, it restart is a mandatory in both the cases for NVIDIA as well as for the AMD. Once you install the graphics card, I mean after updating the graphics card, downloading and installing, installing it back and once afterwards, restart is a mandatory. Even after trying with this, you can try with installing the Microsoft Visual C++, you can install it over here. So x64 based is one of them, you can download this one, install and restart x86 also you can download and install restart if that is your system is x86 version so if it's about 64 which most probably everyone use right now now it is x64 so you can download this one and install it after trying this if the issue is still persisting you can try with the next one that is all about we can uninstall and reinstall the game just go over here in the game right click over here and go to the manage and install the game for reinstalling it back you have to keep in mind you should not be installing it back to the same local disk you have to change the position of local disk from c from which you uninstall it to a new one so that is how it's going to work so these are the possible workaround which can be done when it comes to how to fix nba 2k23 having this kind of issue and i hope this video is helpful and if you find this video helpful don't forget to subscribe and click on the bell icon for more notifications see you soon in the next video peace out bye bye